Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Cincinnati Reds. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. So the Cincinnati Reds have already won the series, and now they go for the four-game sweep, Chris. It's been a lopsided series so far. Yeah, they've clearly been the better team, and I expect them to come out today looking to tie a bow on this series. And on the other side, most teams run into at least a three-game sweep at some point, but not every team looks back at a four-game sweep at the end of the year. And I'll say this. As a player, it's especially frustrating when the losses keep coming against the same team. So if they can salvage a win today, this series won't go down quite as sour. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go now. Our starter in this one, Hunter Green. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider Having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stop in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Grabs it on the run. One down. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And one guy who's been great for them, Miguel Rojas. He's been a solid force for his team right now. Kind of a fire starter when you consider an on-base percentage over 400 over the last 10 games. That's solid, consistent work. He's making things happen for this offense right now. And up next for Miami, Jorge Soler. Just two for 11 in the series so far. First pitch, oh, not nice close. And the 1 0. Oh, yeah. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. The wind and the pitch. There's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. The punch out there, that's out number two. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. The first baseman, Garrett Cooper. That one's in there, 0-1. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. The wind of the pitch. Falling oh, behind 2-1. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Two, and two. two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. We go to the bottom of the first, and on the hill in this one, Jesus Lizardo. What do we have on him? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but... I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss. Get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Nick Senzel takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Not a swing you want to watch again. The 
the pitch. Line drive, and there's a hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Here's Albert Almora Jr. And the first wow. offering is not close. And he deals. That one misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering misses. Three balls, no strikes. And he walked him. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Luis Arise stands in. In there, and it's on one. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit with five extra base hits already in the series. And first offering is fouled off. Senzel at second. Almora over at first with one away. Next pitch inside, and that's ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And a pitch. Strike two. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. And now the count is even. And a pitch. That misses off the outside edge. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Three two now. And that'll load the bases. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So bases loaded with one away. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. The lefty to 1 0. Now 1 1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Wendell. There's one. On to Cooper, and it's a double play. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam.
Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And now here's the veteran DH, Jesus Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Going one. Oh and one. And the right hander deals. And there's a the ball. ball. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Slings it across and quickly one away in the second. That is good. The right fielder, Abasail Garcia. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Next pitch is outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. That misses three balls, no all break. three. The pitch. Good plate this appearance there. Able to take the walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. One gone runner at first. Brian Anderson, the next up for the Marlins. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The 0-2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Anderson down on strikes. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. So two down now, and here is Jesus Sanchez. First offering misses the mark. Here comes a pitch. That misses. Two and one. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Up against the wall. And makes the catch. Marlins leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, bottom half of inning number two, Tyler Naquin to the plate. Lazardo back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The pitch. Fouled off to the right. Oh. 
That one missed. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Two and two's the count. Left hand hitter waits. And now Go it's filled up. Full count. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Aristides Aquino now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Batting eight. The catcher. Here's a Ramos Garcia. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. No score here in the second. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. Two strikes. The why to kick the pitch. Just that miss. miss. That's, That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nobody left for Cincinnati. We'll move to the third with no score. Miguel Rojas at the play. Rojas having more success against left-handed pitching this season as might be expected. Green back to work. Strike one. Swings through that one. Okay. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. To first. One up, one down. The catcher, number 34, Joe Matt. And here's the rookie catcher, Joe Matt. In there for strike one. And the 0 1. Swing and a bouncer towards first, but foul. Top of the third, no score. Next one misses. Gonna count one and two. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't wanna chase that breaking ball in the dirt. On the ground, the rise handles the chance in plenty of time to first. Got the out. Now batting, second baseman, Joey Wendell. Here's Joey Wendell. All for one, he was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. Oh, 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And a count one and two. The pitch. Got him looking. Marlin set down in order. And the Marlins down quietly. And we are still scoreless. As we go to the last of the third. And here's the first baseman, Colin Moran. The first baseman. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. The 0 1. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Next pitch misses. And the count one and two. One and, two. and now the lefty. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. Two balls, two strikes. fastball and he gets out of the way well you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early and that sends a message not just to this hitter but to the rest of the guys in this lineup it's a leadoff walk and that's the go ahead run what a battle it's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk now it's Nick Senzel one for one he let off the bottom of the first with a single One fouled off. Moran gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is downstairs. One one. The lefty ready and a one one. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Matt over to second and he'll be safe at first. So now the DH spot, Albert Almora Jr. First offering misses badly for ball one. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. That one lifted to left. Solaire under it. Calls it in to away. No matter. Number two. Second base. Luis arrives. The next to hit for the Reds. He's 0 for 1. That hits one the ball, dirt, no and that is ball one. Kicks and fires. 
Good speed right. on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Ball. And misses inside. At the belt and fires. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Left hand batter waits. Popped up. Rojas drifts towards it, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Reds leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Great American Ballpark, Jorge Soler up at the plate. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The wind and the pitch. That one misses. Oh. And yeah, that's ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. The next offering oh, misses. Three, Three and O. Oh. Three balls, no strikes. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Go ahead, run on base at the play. Garrett Cooper. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. The fish yet to pick up a hit here. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Next pitch way upstairs. Chases that one out of the zone, and there's one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And now it's Jesus Aguilar, still hitless in the series. Hard hit left side. And it's through for a hit. Throw into third. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Runners at the corners here, one away. And now for the Marlins, Avasail Garcia. First offering, misses the mark. 1-0. Righty delivers. There's a strike. One and one. Soler at third. Aguilar at first. One gone. 
The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And here it comes. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered the foul. Riding to the plate. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Next offering is foul back. pitch now a high fly ball out to left center Senzel has this one sized up puts the squeeze on that one runner tags from third Farmer with a relay home safe at the play and it's one nothing well it's a nice job right there it's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there Brian Anderson will hit next. Went down on strikes his first time through. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And it's one and one. That was straight one one. queso right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Senzel turns, moving to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning. So a run on one hit. No errors and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Marlins one and the Reds nothing. Back here in Cincinnati, ready to go, bottom four. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. The wind of the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. And strike two. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. One and two's the count. Next one in the dirt. Here's a one-two. And fouled off. One-two now. Fought off foul. Here's a one two. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Garcia right there to make the grab. And there's one down. Next for Cincinnati, Kyle Farmer. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. No, that missed. That's a ball. That one ripped, but foul.
Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Two two. Upstairs. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Two outs, base is empty. Tyler Naquin, the next to hit for the Reds. First offering, misses the mark. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses two and two. Next offering is down low. And here's a three two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. They all pitch. And down on strikes. And that ends the inning. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Marlins one and the Reds nothing. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Leading off for Miami, the center fielder, number seven, Jesus Sanchez. Here comes a pitch. That one drifts inside. Off the mark That's there, and the count is 2-0. Oh. The pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. and one. And the pitch. That misses. 3-1. Oh. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. 3 1 is on the way. There's a strike. We got a full count. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, wow. not close. And he deals. Just off the outside edge. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs. Space is empty. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Joe Matt. And 
there's a foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Ball in one now. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is that. Miami down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jonathan Loisica. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Welcome back. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Aristides Aquino. And a pitch. And that one clips the corner. Miami's bullpen with some action. Anthony Bass appears to be getting loose. Pop, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And the right hitter deals. Got him swinging. And one away. And here's the catcher, Aramis Garcia. First offering in the dirt. One down, base is empty. Slice to right, and it's into the gap. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Colin Moran getting ready to hit. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. It's 0 and 1. Garcia leads off first with one away. And he grounds one back up the middle. There's one. Oh, great stop. And they get the out. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the second baseman, Joey Wendell. Green back to work. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. In the air, right field. Naquin under it. Makes the grab one away. Now batting left field. Jorge Soler. So digging in, Jorge Soler. Struggling a little bit in the series. He's two for 12. In the air, out towards right center. Naquin settles under this one, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. 
now batting the first baseman Garrett Cooper and at the plate for Miami Garrett Cooper First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right hander kicks deals. And there's the strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The one two line drive to short and caught top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. it's the Marlins one and the Reds nothing not here back here in Cincinnati bottom of the inning here's a speed threat Nick Senzel all well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on yeah, the right hater back to work all uh -huh. one there one and oh. foul ball there The one one and now two and one after that missed inside it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run in the air to left center Sanchez should have this one and puts the squeeze on that one and there's one away Albert Almora Jr., the next to hit for the Reds. Four for 12 in the series so far. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Zero balls, one strike. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. One and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's two away. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a play, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. Another solid power season. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. And that one sliced foul. At the belt and fires. Foul ball.
and the 0-2. Went too far that time. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Lifted in the air, out to left. He makes the grab, and that is that. So one left for Cincinnati, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Top of inning number seven, and now the DH, Jesus Aguilar. Leading off for the Marlins, the designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. The pitch. Good eye right That's there. The and that one fouled off. The one one. And that one hammered way back there. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and there's one down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So up next, Abasail Garcia. And the first offering is not close. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. They say it went. One, two. The wind and the pitch. Yeah, the one, two that miss, misses that's to ball. even the count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The next oh. offering misses. And it's three and two. And here it comes. Well struck left field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Garcia into second, and he's got a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. One out, runner at second. Here's the third baseman, Brian Anderson. In there, and it's 0-1. One out, and a runner at second. The next pitch misses, ball one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Art Warren up and loosening in the pen. Hendricks getting cranked up as well. Up the middle. Whips it to Moran. And that's an out. The center fielder, number seven. Jesus Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. In there for strike one.
The pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. 0 and 2. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And a pitch. And now it's even up. Garcia on third with two out. Next pitch misses. And a full count now. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball hammered left field. He can't get there. It's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. And they take a two-run lead to second, but way too late. Safe there. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Hunter Green gives way. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Art Warren. He last pitched two days ago. Man in scoring position with two away. And up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. Out to center. Senzel settles under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Anthony Bass. He's pitching on two days rest. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. And now the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. And he deals. And ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Anthony Bender appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. Flyer warming up as well. Righty to the plate. That's in for a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Check swing, but he went too far. One and two. Here comes a pitch. And it's even up. Oh, that's a really good take. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Tyler Naquin, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. And that's in for a strike. 1 1. Ball and a strike. Next offering the misses ball. down and away. 2 and 1. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. And now 2 and 2. Well, and those hitters count sometimes. 
can be a little too aggressive and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. That one misses in the dirt. The kick, the 3 2. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Aquino in the box again, takes a strike. The tying run at the plate. He swings and fouls one off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And the next pitch is way outside. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. New pitcher for the Marlins, Anthony Bender. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Aramis Garcia, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, oh. and he just misses. One out. Tying run at the plate. So two balls and no strikes. Two outs. Liner snagged it first. Nice work from the Miami pen there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Marlins two and the Reds nothing. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. Here's the catcher, Joe Mack. The catcher, Joe Mack. And the pitch. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Right-handed reliever. Hit weakly on the ground. Arise. Collects. Throws to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Up next for the Marlins, the second baseman, Joey Wendell. So the lineup flips over. Joey Wendell, the next up for the Marlins. First offering, and it just misses. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and a count one and one. The pitch. That misses. And it's two and one. Just missed. Three balls and no strike. The three one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Full count. 
three two. And there's ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Solaire in the box now. No balls and a strike. Wendell, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Warren with a move to first, and he's back in there. the righty deals got him out number two well that right there is just a pitcher's pitch tailing away from the hitter low and away with some good yeah, action right. at the end the you know even if he gets the bat to that right. ball it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side I tell you what that's a tremendous two strike pitch man at first now here is Garrett Cooper Good contact guy, good defender. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And one and two. And the right hander deals. The other way. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. The batter, number 99. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. One for three. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Next pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. A big blow to the home fans, and they throw three on the board. It's five zip. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Ryan Hendricks. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Bases empty with two away. Abasail Garcia, the next to hit. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0.
Righty delivers. Ball. 2 0. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. The pitch. That's in there. And the count is even two and two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. That to right. Naquin turns and moving to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. But the Marlins get three on the homer. And the lead is now 5-0. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Colin Moran. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Way inside gets out of the way. For E for in the back heading rig up for it. Get as well. Next is two. Two now. Things in this little down here. Eight. Now here's the relief man. Fires. Now, I did a kill. A football. And a ball. They want him. They want to talk to him out there. He's getting back to the best. Yes. Now, we're going to do a negative red. And here in Southwest, there wrangled it. I think it was. Yeah. Slitter act. That was a strike two and two. A really nice header down in there. He wants to hit the fastball speed. I'll just try and volunteer out a little bit. Grab a frisky two. Ross up to the ring. It's double A. Nicely done at all. Nine inning going all in high. Red up. We go to the ninth. And now for the Marlins, Brian Anderson. Leading off for the Marlins, the third baseman, Brian Anderson. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And the pitch. There's a strike. One, one. And now the count one and two one, after two. the swing and the miss. The pitch. Next offering is outside. And down on strikes he goes. And one out now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Sanchez. 
And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a pitch. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back there. And it's gone. His 12th of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 6 0. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 0-1. At the belt and fires. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Joe Mack. And first offering is fouled off. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and deals. That missed. That's a ball. One and two is the count. Swing and a pop up. Moose makes the catch, and that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 6-0 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, bottom nine. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. The second baseman. Bender back to work. Clips the corner. Strike one. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One out, bottom of the ninth. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Digging in, Mike Moustakis. And a foul ball. And now the 01. Now a one and one. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Wendell with a relay throw, but he's in there easily. 
A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And the batter will be the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. Now back, the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. And the first One offering ball, is track. not close. Moose, the runner at second with one away. Next offering no, upstairs. Up. 2 0. That's the ball. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. So digging in, Tyler Naquin. And he's already singled in this game. In there and it's 0-1. Well, in this situation with runners on, you gotta get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Next one misses, uh -huh. and that's ball one. One and one. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Up the middle. One at second to first, not in time. Great effort there. Aristides Aquino now at the plate. That Three. one's in there, 0-1. No balls, one strike. The next that offering miss, misses, and it's a ball and a strike. One and one. And a pitch. Chopped out towards short. Rojas picks it up, ball game. Roll a seven out save in this one. It's far from your standard save, but he did what was necessary to help his team get the win. And see a guy pitch like this, it's very inspiring for other guys down in the bullpen. Six nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. All right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. A wise man told me that silence never betrayed him. Keep your mouth shut, cause it's got ultimatum. Yeah. Stupid situations, the tongue often creates them. The motor mouth is usually causing mayhem. Let's reflect times, I try to collect minds from complex rhymes. And by the way, shut out Tech Nine. Uh, go and shut the f up, just let me talk. I'm a time bomb that's waiting to go off. Quite nuclear, amazing what fame could do to you. Too peculiar, although I'm truly a renaissance starter. My mind divine, it take me a lot farther. Growing up, I really had beef with my father.